Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about um, what's going on with me currently. Uh, tomorrow I'll be 12 weeks, by the time you probably see this video I'll be 12 weeks. And um, I know that starting this is kind of late, most people start right after they find out that they're pregnant. But I just, start, I just thought that I'd rather start now than never, so it's never too late to start. And um, also, it's like slow in the beginning anyway. There's nothing really much to report. So I just figured that I'm going to have a lot going on at my appointment that's coming up on Wednesday. And then I'll talk more about that. So that'll be my 12-week um, update. But from now, like for now, I could just talk about like what happened to me previously because there wasn't too much to really report. Um, I think I found out I was pregnant at around, maybe I was like five to six weeks, probably like six weeks, because I waited an extra week after I was supposed to get my period because you never know sometimes you're late and I wasn't sure so I waited and of course I took the pregnancy test and right away came up as pregnant so at that point I made an appointment with my gynecologist and they told me that they couldn't see me until I was eight eight weeks pregnant which I kind of thought was a little bit weird but I'm not sure how it works I don't really remember from my first two daughters I think I was earlier I thought but you know Maybe things have changed. I guess they want to make sure that you don't have a miscarriage because usually the first, like, you know, during that time period, they say that you can have a miscarriage, so maybe they want to wait. So I went to my appointment. I had a one-hour session with the nurse and then a one-hour appointment, well, give or take, with the doctor. It went very well. I was very surprised that I had such a nice consultation with the nurse. She asked me lots and lots of questions. Um, especially to find out about my, you know, family history to make sure that there's, you know, if there's going to be any problems. <clears throat> and also like my previous births that I had. And um, gave me lots of information like what I should eat, uh, what I shouldn't eat, you know, just the regular stuff, you know. And I thought that that was very informative, definitely better than when I had my first two kids because nobody told me anything. It was kind of just like going blindsided along and that's exactly what happened so this is definitely a better experience for me I also you know when I had my two daughters I was living somewhere else I was living in New York City and it's very crowded there's a lot of people and you're pretty much just a number so I moved about an hour north and it's just a different world you know the doctors are so much more caring and the people are you're not a number let's put it that way I feel like I actually count so that makes me feel happy. So I think it's going to be a better experience, definitely. Um, very excited about that. What I'd like to talk about really quickly is, I guess, any kind of like symptoms that I had. At first, I really didn't feel pregnant, except that I was exhausted. I felt really, really tired. I was taking naps every single day. And I would say like two hour naps. And I'm still kind of taking naps on and off. There was only maybe like two days that I did not take a nap since I've been pregnant, since I actually conceived. So that's really, really rare for me not to take a nap because I'm exhausted. Um, and also, when I didn't know I was pregnant and I thought I was going to get my period, I was having severe cramping. Like, I don't really get cramps when I'm going to get my period, and this was really, really terrible. So um, that occurred for quite a while, and I would say even at eight weeks it was occurring. It was so severe, and I asked the doctor if, you know, that was normal. She said yes. I don't really recall having severe cramping like that with my first two, um, but you never know. It's been a very long time. It's about 10 years since I was pregnant, maybe 11 years. So, yeah, it's definitely different. Um, what else? Um, I've been taking my vitamins every day, which I wasn't able to do, like the prenatal vitamins. I wasn't able to do that with my first two children because I would take those pills and it would make me throw up. But now they have the gummy vitamins so i've been taking those so i highly recommend them i'm actually taking the vita fusion prenatal vitamins and those are easier on the stomach so i don't vomit but it does make me feel like somewhat nauseous so there will be when i take them in the morning and then there'll be hours before i can actually like eat something because i feel too sick to eat um but i don't throw up so that's a good thing um i still i still have like somewhat of a gagging reflex i guess from the nausea so if i brush my teeth i it will pretty much you know make me want to throw up but I I'm fine I haven't thrown up once um, I'm able to like hold it in and I hate throwing up like I I'm not one of those people that likes to throw up so I will hold it in as long as I can 
Um, so yeah, so I have not thrown up, so that's a good thing. Um, also, I'm having a lot of pressure on my cervix. So, you know, I just feel a lot of pressure down there. Uh, I guess the baby's like resting on something. I don't know what it is. But, um, you know, it kind of subsides. It go, It comes and goes. It's not all the time. So that's not bad. But the only problem is that because I have pressure on my cervix, sex can be difficult because... I feel it hitting the cervix so that is kind of uncomfortable and really since I found out that I'm pregnant we really don't do it that much anymore I guess it's a little awkward um, and I've been having some very weird dreams I have very like I have dreams about having the baby um, and then yeah it's just animals like attacking me. it's like just weird very graphic detailed kind of dreams uh, whereas before I would have regular dreams and maybe not remember them. Now I kind of remember them. They're very scary. They're vivid. So yeah, that's definitely something very new. I don't remember having dreams with my first two. Um, I also had at my eight week appointment, which I forgot to mention, I had um, to do blood work, a lot of blood work. And when I was weighed, I actually, I actually weighed one pound more than I did, which I was weighed in December. And my appointment was in, what are we in? April? I mean, we're in May, but I had the appointment, I guess, in April. No, the beginning of May. I'm sorry. I had the, the appointment in the beginning of May. So I only gained a pound. But the thing is that I'm not thin. Um, I feel like I'm five foot one, and I'm overweight for my height. So, you know, not by much. But the thing is that I really can't afford to even gain 10 pounds because if I gain two pounds, I'm going to look like a Oompa Loompa. I mean, I already feel like that. And so my goal, you know, I told the nurse that I really want to lose weight. So I'm not trying to really gain weight. I know that's a really terrible thing to say, like when you're pregnant. But honestly, I can't, I'm already like overweight, like for my height. So for me to even gain 10 pounds is not good. Um, even five pounds, any weight really. So um, you know, of course, I have an appointment on Wednesday, so I'm going to see how that goes. Um, I really can lose weight because there's enough, believe me, there's enough on me that, you know, the baby would not be harmed, believe me. It would probably, you know, if the weight could come off, from, you know, the parts of my body and go to the baby, that'd be great. Because I feel like I'm a bit overweight and, yeah, I know that's terrible, but I'm being honest. I'm going to be realistic and... You know, nobody wants to be, you know, just because I'm pregnant doesn't mean I'm eating for three. I'm not one of those people. I have not actually eaten any different um, since I've found out that I'm pregnant. I actually feel like I've eaten less because, you know, at first I was fine with eating food. But now food, the thought of food makes me sick. There's obviously that's, another, you know, another symptom that I have is that I can't really look at food. Um, meat is a turn off for me. I do eat like chicken that's pretty much the only thing I can eat but like anything fried is really gross it just disgusts me and there's just a lot of things that I'm having issues with you know trying to eat and then like it's almost like when you eat something too much and you get sick of it and then you can't eat it anymore but that's like almost everything that I try and um that's a problem so um okay well that that's about it for um you know, up until eight weeks. Like I said, I'm going to do a 12-week separate vlog uh, in a few days. I have a doctor appointment coming up, and that will be when I actually get an ultrasound, which I did not get done at, at eight weeks. I had, you know, no idea how anything's going. I was very surprised. I thought that they would have at least done an ultrasound to see, you know, make sure. I had to ask the doctor, like, are you sure there's a baby in there, you know? I mean, all they did was a urine test on me to make sure, and I guess it came back positive. They didn't even say anything to me. I went to go see the doctor after the nurse, and she did feel my feel my uterus and said, yes, it feels normal for eight weeks. So, yeah, I'm assuming. And I was like, do you think maybe there's two babies in there? Because I feel extra bloated and big, and she's, she's like, no, there's one. So that's what I know so far. So I'm excited to get my 12-week ultrasound. I'm also getting the Down syndrome test on. So if you'd like to know how that turns out, please stay tuned. And I'm going to be updating that as soon as everything's done um, after I get that done this week. All right, so I'll see you then. Please subscribe if you're new so that you can keep up with me. And if you have any questions, please post them down below. Bye.